Installing Raycam JBM100 The Raycam JBM100 is a power connection kit to power up to three heat tracing cables. Allow 24 inches, 600 millimeters of heating cable for installation. Cut the heating cable end at about 45 degrees. Apply lubricant for easier insertion into the stand. Push 18 inches, 450 millimeters of heating cable through stand. Square off the cable end with a 90 degree cut, but do not attach to the pipe yet. And proceed to stripping the end of the cable. When stripping Raycam self-regulating heating cables, you should be aware that conventional cable stripping techniques are not appropriate. Let's look at a correct way to strip a self-regulating heating cable. Before stripping the cable, refer to the kit installation instructions for the exact length of each cut. When stripping the Raycam self-regulating cables, use the Raycam SR stripping tool or utility knife. To remove the outer jacket, lightly score the jacket around and down, being careful not to cut too deep into the braid. Bend the heating cable to break the jacket at the score and peel it off. Then take an awl tool or a pointed screwdriver, make a small window in the braid and bend the cable. Work around the cable and open enough of the braid to pull the cable out. Bend the braid back out of the way and lightly score the inner jacket around and down to peel off the inner jacket. For XTV-CT cable, remove the exposed black fibers of the heating element, cutting them flush with the inner jacket. Then, remove the spacer between the bus wires and trim even with the jacket. For cables BTV-CT and QTVR-CT, remove the inner jacket and cut down to the black core. Cut a notch in the end. Use needle nose pliers to peel back one of the bus wires and remove all black core to expose both wires. Mark about 5 eighths of an inch, 16 millimeters, on the inner jacket. Retwist and straighten wires. Insert into the core sealer guide tubes. Push core sealer onto the heating cable to the mark made previously and remove the guide tubes. And slip green-yellow tube onto the braid. Trim bus wires and braid, leaving about 1 half inch, 13 millimeters. Pull the heating cable back into the stand so that about 1 inch, 25 millimeters, is exposed. When fastening the stand to the pipe, use the appropriate number of straps indicated in the installation instructions. A small pipe adapter can be used for 1 inch, 25 millimeter pipes or smaller. This prevents the cable from being crushed by the stand. Remove lock nut. Install grommet plugs in the unused openings of the JBM100. Install junction box and reinstall the lock nut. Be sure to tighten the lock nut completely onto the stand so that the grommets seal properly. Finally, screw on the strain relief and conduct insulation resistance test to ensure the cable was not damaged during the installation and record the results. Next, to connect the bus wires and braids to the terminal blocks firmly, insert a flat blade screwdriver into the square hole to open the spring. The screwdriver will lock into place allowing you to move your hand and insert the wire into the round hole. Remove screwdriver to clamp the wire and use the same procedures to install the power wires into the terminal blocks. A JBM100 connection kit can be used in multiple configurations such as powered splice, powered T, powering two circuits, and just as a splice or T connection kit. Refer to the wiring diagrams in the installation instructions in order to make correct connections for your configuration. If you have a connection kit with a signal light, simply plug the light module into the terminal blocks before installing the lid. Finally, stow the wire into the enclosure, fasten the lid in place, and tape the service loop to the pipe to complete your installation of JBM100. Depending on the wiring methods for your region, please use the appropriate conduit or power cable. The JBM100 can be installed in different directions, 
if the JBM100 is installed downwards, knock out the drain hole in the pipe stand. If you have any questions, contact your local Pentair representative or visit us at www.pentairthermal.com.